Oceans are a very large place, but most of the fisheries in the world are close to shore. And being close to shore means that they need habitats and they need marshes and wetlands to reproduce, they need streams and rivers to migrate, and they need clean water to live in. Factors that contribute to the change in fish populations around the world. There's a ton. There's habitat destruction, paving over wetlands for parking lots, there's chemical pollution, there's sunscreen runoff, pharmaceuticals that you wash down the drain, antibiotic proliferation around the country, oil spills. We also have a whole bunch of just crumbling infrastructure around our, our coasts. So you have trains and bridges that are all leaking oil from cars and brake dust. You have things that just fall into the rivers. You have old toxic historic sites like PCB contamination. Uh, and you have raw sewage that keeps coming out because we have crumbling wastewater infrastructure. You also have freshwater waste where all this water is being just pushed through our drinking water system and out into the oceans or into our rivers that really messes with the, the chemistry of our estuaries and our waterways. And because of that basic fact of where our fisheries come from, it means that every time we have a massive power plant with once through cooling that sucks in tens and hundreds of millions of gallons of water a day and pushes out of the back end thermal pollution that boils the water around their, their power plant, Every time we dump oil into the waterways, every time we ruin those ecosystems that the fish need to live, we drastically undercut their ability to survive. Within that, you have fishermen working to bring us our daily catch. And when you're looking at that kind of a system from a government standpoint and an advocacy standpoint, the easiest thing to change is to change our fishing practices. It would be very, very difficult to shut down a power plant if you didn't know the connection that that has with our overall ecosystem. And so too often the fishermen get blamed directly for the things that are problems caused by a much more complex system. Uh, it's not to say that all fisheries are great. One in 10 is overfished and two in 10 are experiencing too low biomass. But those solutions that we put in place from a scientific and regulatory perspective have to come hand in hand with changes to the entire ecosystem and to our entire industrial effect on that ecosystem. Any one small step is a, is a great step forward. Uh, going green in any kind of way uh, will affect uh, fisheries in a positive manner. Don't dump pills down your drain. Be more efficient in terms of water use. Be more energy efficient. Conservation is always something that's going to impact the entire planet, uh, fisheries included. But I think specifically for this problem, educating yourself as to how all these systems interact so that you can understand and you can see wherever you are in your daily life, how things all come together and affect each other is a great way to take a step forward.